For example, one of the things we've been working on is the next generation graphics API, DX11. And we've been working very closely with NVIDIA on this. And I'm proud to announce that this is also part of the engagement we've had with NVIDIA since DX10. So the two teams are working together very well to realize the potential of this technology. The other thing we're working on is to implement support for the DX Compute API, which is new in Win7. And we're going to use that to tap into the power of the GPU to be able to do, to, uh, do more than traditional graphics processing. It's a very exciting time for us. So DirectX Compute is the API that's built in Windows 7 that allows the, uh, an application to be written in Windows 7 to be able to draw on the GPU computing power within the NVIDIA GPUs that are in a, in a PC. That's right, Drew. And we're excited about the potential of that stuff. So we, so, so. You know, this is such an important photo op. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> to show up all over the world with this jacket tucked in this. Ah, <laughs> very good. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Jensen. It's the only I could do that. <laughs> all right. Murray, NVIDIA has your back. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> um, so, we, so, so Murray and I thought it would be great to show you a new application that is actually built into the Windows operating system that would just use natively the GPU. Right. Right? Let's go. So let's go. We've got a demonstration set up over here. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what this application is? Well, this is an application that we look at, which has got some uh, fast video uh, transcoding. This will enable us to be able to rely on the power of the GPU to be able to easily move video and portable devices, such as uh, music players or cameras, other devices that you have. So what we're looking at on video, you want to go ahead and run this? Well, let's we'll let, transfer. Let, me, let me show you a little bit of what we're going to show here. We've got two PCs set up. One is the Acer Spire Revo with the uh, Ion uh, processor. The other is a uh, Atom-based PC with the uh, Intel uh, Atom chipset. And uh, what we're going to do is show how built into the operating system is the ability to be able to do this live conversion. That's right. right. So Drew, what we'll do is we will click and drag the video clip. We'll put it on the device, which you can see now is part of device stage, which is a feature we built into Win7. And this will make it seamless and transparent for customers. They will be able to see the device and see a mock-up of it. They can drag and get into that very easily. So this is the, the device that, uh, that Murray's talking about is, is right here, the portable media player that's showing up just automatically on the, uh, on the operating system. It's, we've got one plugged into each one of the, the two PCs. So here's the uh, uh, portable media player. And the, and the piece that we're going to um, transfer is a high definition uh, video uh, clip from the um, from the movie Star Trek. All right, so I'm going to play it real quick for you guys, just so you, that you know what the clip is. So this is a the Star Trek trailer, and uh, for those of you that haven't seen the Star Trek movie, I absolutely recommend you go see it. It's it's fantastic. This particular clip is a 1080p. Oh, I'm sorry. This particular clip is a 720p clip. Um, and uh, 720p, yeah, 720p clip. And what we're going to do, you can play it back on the on the Ion PC, of course, just fine. I'm going to stop it here. We're going to take this clip. It's two minutes long. We're going to take it and we're just going to drag it right over on top of the uh, the portable media player, right? And we let go, and up pops a uh, a, a little thing that says, "Let's convert and start," and we'll time it. So we're going to keep track of which one of these two PCs is able to convert the, uh, uh, the file faster. We've got the ION system here. We have the uh, ATOM system here. Right? Now this is something that's built into this the built in the functionality of Windows 7. And this is part of being able to have a seamless experience for our consumers across devices. So the Windows platform extends the breadth of devices, whether it's photo frames, music players. And we want to be able to deliver this in a fast, easy, efficient way for our customers. Now this is now, now this is one of the goals of Windows, right? As I understand it, you guys have built into the Windows operating system the ability to be able to just treat media as as a as a as a really easily moved around piece of content, you know, share it easily, uh, take it with you easily. All that is native to the OS. That's right, Drew. We want it to be conveniently uh, capable across devices, and we want that to be a very simple, intuitive experience for our customers. Right. So this is running on the, this, this particular demonstration right here is running on the, uh, the current release version of, uh, of Windows. 
uh, Windows 7, um, and it's doing this conversion. And while it's doing this conversion, one thing I want to point out, this is still not the final release of, of Windows 7, so the, the, the timer bar that you're seeing does not quite represent what the, uh, uh, what the time is. Um, I think that, that, there we go. Oops. No, you're good, you're good. So we're converting it, and, and I think that this one stopped, this one finished. That one's finished, that's through. So that one finished in about roughly a minute and a half or something like that. I think I actually finished faster than I thought it was going to be. The CPU is still trudging along. Now, I happen to know that the CPU will take roughly about five times longer than the GPU to do this conversion. So maybe we should just kill that. Okay? We just might be here all night. We have a measurable uh, improvement in performance. And what we've noticed here is that this is moving so fast in the transcode, it's actually moving faster than the ability of the CPU to recalculate the time it will take. So while it's finishing and the timer is going, the forecast from the dialog box is still indicating that it'll be more time. Right. Right. So this one's still uh, huge performance improvement. Here's the here's the portable media player now with that converted file that I was talking about. That exact same um, uh, piece of content. Right. The, the Star Trek trailer. I can take it with me. So it was converted from high definition into a lower resolution and placed on this device in less time it actually took than to play the, the, the piece of content itself. Right? Okay? I'm moving around. <laughs> Sorry about that. There you go. I should get my 